Hello my dumplings, it is me, Miss Please Moo, and I'm here to do the All About Eyeshadow Palette Tag. I really like the idea of this, I think it's really super fun, and I really like watching them, so if you've done one, tag me in it on Insta, or uh, just leave a link in the, com in the comment section of this video, because I really enjoy watching them, or just comment that you did one and then I will go watch it and comment on it because I've been really enjoying these and seeing what everybody picks. So here you guys go. This is my All About Eyeshadow tag. I hope that you like it. The first question is, what is your newest palette? This is my newest palette right here. This is the Too Faced Born This Way. I don't like the packaging. Uh, I mean, I don't like, the, I don't mind the cardboard. I just don't like the way it looks. I think it's kind of ugly. Like they usually do cuter packaging and I'm just not all about the packaging but the inside of this palette is beautiful. I love the way they laid it out. I love how it goes from light to dark. I just think that it's so aesthetically pleasing and gorgeous and I haven't played with it yet. I literally just got it in the mail yesterday so I'll do a review on that eventually. I know it's been out for a while but there you go. Next question is my oldest palette guys. This is so ratchet. This is so so ratchet. Okay. <laughs> Do you guys remember these? This is my Too Faced Natural Palette. This is from 2011. Guys, guys this is so ratchet, but I'm just going to be real with you guys. I still use this. I love this palette. And the colors and stuff are still in really good condition. It's just a really good palette. I just love it and it is old but the colors still perform really really well the um, mattes are beautiful the shimmers are beautiful they did an updated version of this and I will eventually purchase that and maybe when I purchase that I'll get rid of this um, but it's a great palette I hate this one color though right here this one color what's it called nude beach this nude beach color sucks nobody's business. It is horrifyingly bad. It is like a sparkle nightmare. I don't like that color, but the rest of it I love. So that is my oldest palette. It's super ratchet, but I still use it. <laughs> the next is my most expensive palette, and I don't really have a lot of expensive palettes. This palette, sorry, there's like a truck or something going by. I don't know if you guys can hear it. This palette is the uh, Chocolate Bar palette. It's $49, and that is honestly my most expensive palette. I know that a lot of people have like um, Natasha Denona palettes and Busy Art palettes and Pat McGrath palettes, and they're like so expensive. And to me, even the Huda Beauty palettes for like $65 are a lot. Like $50 is probably my limit for eyeshadow because I just think like that's a lot so but I love that palette and the next palette is my most inexpensive palette and I gotta hand it to this little Milani one right here these are really good quality I do want to get more of them um, this one is must have naturals or neutrals I'm sorry and it fell and broke so some of the shadows got broken but it's a really good if you want to do a smoky eye or if you want to do just a quick nude eye um I really like it I wish that this color right here was matte and I like it just a little bit more but you know the quality is really nice and the shadows are really nice and it's a good little palette the next palette is going to be my like everyday palette and I don't know if this is still available on Ult in Ulta so I feel bad for mentioning it if it isn't but I love this little palette. I think I paid like 20 bucks for it and this is just such a pretty dreamy like romantic it's just a pretty rosy neutral palette this is one of those palettes like if I'm in a rush and I know I need to put an eye look together and I want to look pretty like this does the trick I never get disappointed it's like easy to just put a look together there's not a lot of thought to it um it's decent quality I wouldn't say it's like the best quality in the world but it's like it's decent I will say on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd say it's probably like a 7. So it gets the job done. The next is my most colorful palette. And I don't have a lot of colorful eyeshadow, but this is my most colorful palette. It is the Zodiac palette. I was wanting this so badly 
when it first came out. I love the idea of it. I love the theming of it. The colors are gorgeous. So, so, so pretty. I highly recommend getting this if it's still available. They do have like several versions of the Zodiac palettes. And I think that, you know, they're all really good quality. Um, I definitely want to invest in more of the Zodiac. I think that these are definitely beautiful for like going out, like New Year's Eve or holiday. There's a lot of beautiful colors in here for all year round. It's definitely my most colorful pattern, pa um, sorry, pattern, palette. My favorite colors are this olive green and this olive green. I love wearing these together. The purples are also really, really pretty. And I just did a really pretty pink eye look the other day using these colors over here. Um, so really, really beautiful. The only thing that I don't love about this palette is I wish it had a different, a lighter transition color. Like there's this pink, which is okay if you want a pinky look, and then there's this darker brown. I wish there was a color that was like a little bit more of a, a, a taupey or a lighter brown for a transition. They don't have that, so that's the only negative, but otherwise it's a great palette and excellent, excellent, excellent quality, like so good. Okay guys, next is my smallest palette, and don't worry, I'm not gonna be pulling out one of those e.l.f. palettes, because I know everybody's pulling those out. Look at this. <laughs> This is another Ratchet palette. This is from 2013 and I still use it because I it the quality is still really good. These these uh eyeshadows are just really really good quality. And I have to say I really like them a lot. This is like the size of a credit card. It's from Trish McAvoy. And this is a really cute palette for travel. I've traveled with this a ton. Um it has really good group of shades to create several different looks for such a tiny palette. I love the burgundy kind of rosy color and I love the green color. I love the um, the transition colors are really nice. I can do a bunch of different looks with this palette and it's still really good quality. Like the, the shadows haven't gotten like powdery or like a uh, hard pan or anything. Uh, I don't know if she still does these. I have to look into it, but I really like these little, it's like literally the size of a credit card and it's so nice and cute and easy to travel with. And this is my smallest palette. Okay, next is my biggest palette and this is my biggest palette. Sorry to be a repeater, but it just is. <laughs> this is my biggest palette. This is a huge palette. Like this is both my hands. This is a big boy, a big boy. And he's my biggest palette. Next palette, again, I'm going to do a repeating on you guys. Sorry about it. Sorry, not sorry. But it's the Too Faced Chocolate Palette. This is a really good memory for me because I tend to use this palette for a lot of holidays, like Thanksgiving, Christmas, um, you know, I use it during the holidays a lot. It's just a really cute like fall holiday palette. So a lot of times I'll use this when I'm getting ready for different special occasions. And so it it's like that kind of a palette for me. Um, so it just reminds me of all those fun times. And plus, I just love this palette. I remember when it first came out, I was lusting after it so much. I just love the packaging. I love the idea of it. I love the colors. It's such a pretty palette. And what I like about the palette is, you know, looking at all these colors kind of put together, you can get a little intimidated. But if you divide the palette in half, like right here, down this line, this is just all your neutrals and you can just focus on your neutrals. And then if you look over here, you can do more like kind of fun, colorful looks. So if you divide it in half, it's like, it's an easier palette to digest, but I love it. All right, you guys, the next palette that I'm gonna talk about is a palette that is worth the hype. And I have to say, it is this one from Anastasia the soft glam palette. I was not sure I wanted this palette at first. I really wanted the sultry palette, to be honest with you. That kind of felt like it was more my jam. But the more I started looking at this, the more I was like, you know what? That's really, really pretty though. And normally I'm not a warm eyeshadow type of gal. I like cooler tones, taupey kind of neutrals. And this is definitely not that. But I love these rosy tones like this one over here and this one over here and this one the rosy tones are pretty this other tone over here is pretty and i do dip into sometimes the warm tones as well this can be a really pretty neutral palette one the one thing that i can say though is these shadows are 
beautiful they look amazing they perform well but they are a little bit of a pain in the neck to put on i don't usually dip into this palette when i'm in a rush because they, there's fallout um, they kick up a lot of powder in the pan it's a little bit more of a fussy kind of application so i kind of only save these for when i have time to really do a look and like i have time to put makeup on if i would try to put this on when i was in a rush it'd probably be a mess in the palette and on my face but when it is when i have time and i can really take my time i love this palette it's absolutely stunning totally worth the hype and it made me a fan of this brand and I definitely want to get more palettes from them. Next, okay you guys, here's the deal. The next question is something that's not worth the hype. Now, I'm not saying that there's a lot of hype around this next product because there really isn't a lot of hype around it, but I don't have a huge eyeshadow collection. So I'm just gonna talk about something that I purchased that I feel is not worth the money and I kind of have like regrets about purchasing and maybe wish I didn't purchase. So there wasn't a lot of hype around this, but let's talk about it. And it is the It Cosmetics Superhero Palette. First of all, let's talk about the packaging. I hate these like pointy, sharp, pointy, I just, I don't know. I don't think it's cute. It makes it hard to store. I think it makes it more bulky. Other than that, it's a nice like thin, cute palette. I don't mind the, you know, this kind of material, but this, these points are just so unnecessary, so unnecessary. Let's get into the colors here. Here's the deal, you guys. I don't really love this palette. I, When I first bought it, I thought like, oh my God, this is amazing and I'm gonna love this and blah, blah, blah. But no, this color and this color are great. They're amazing. They're so good for setting a base for your eyeshadow and they're so good for canceling out veins and stuff like that. So that part is great. I love it and I use these a lot. But everything else in this palette kind of sucks um these shades over here do not blend well at all they're not very they don't blend well um so that's one thing these shades in here other than this one they're not super pigmented these shades are not pigmented at all like you can scrub and scrub and you won't really get anything uh there is no transition shade in this palette so you have like all these like light sparkly ones mid sparkly ones and then these dark mattes there's nothing like that could be a good transition shade in here to try to make a look and i just don't like the palette i really don't use it i tried to use it um and i just wasn't happy with the results so it's not great but i do like these two shades a ton and yeah so they're worth it but everything else is not worth it so not a lot of hype around that product but there you go <laughs> All right, guys, next is the favorite palette from a favorite brand, and I'm going to say that it is this one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I so am really in love with this brand of eyeshadow. I want to get the, um, I really want to get the, the, the Modern Renaissance palette. Like, that's the one I'm yearning for. I want to get the Modern Ren. I also would like to get, um what's the other palette that I want from them? I do eventually probably want to get the Sultry palette. Um... But yeah, I, I definitely want to get more of their palettes. But this little baby is so pretty. I love her so much. I love me some purple eyes. Uh, I have green eyes, and I think purple and green go really well together. I think this palette is really pretty. It's something different. Um, it is a purple, but there's so many other shades in it that are really, really like just really pretty. The, this beautiful white gold up here is great. This purple is pretty. This is pretty. These are all gorgeous colors. I've done a lot of different looks with this and I have to say, you know, they always come out really pretty. Um, I, I just really like this palette. If you like purple eyes or like romantic kind of dreamy eyes, things like that, this is a good palette for you. I definitely enjoy it a ton. Really, really good palette definitely my favorite palette from my favorite brand and Too Faced is also another brand that I absolutely love and I'd say probably my favorite palette from them is the chocolate bar palette but I really do like the Born This Way palette as well okay next is the most used eyeshadow palette and I gotta say this is a highly recommended highly recommended palette this is the Revealed palette. This is an older palette. Um, this Revealed palette has been out for a long time. This is a newer version of it. It's not as ratchet as my other eyeshadow palettes, but um, this is definitely probably 
I would say two or three years old. I love this palette. This is the Revealed number one. And the reason that I bought this was um, for this, which color is it? For this color right here, this color. This is basically a dupe for the Urban Decay Naked 1 and 2. I did have the Urban Decay Naked 1 and 2, but um, there was a tragedy that happened with my cosmetics, and I don't really like to talk about it, but I had a lot of really expensive cosmetics that got destroyed because of a problem, and basically, I'll just tell you guys, it's, there's no reason to be mysterious. I had a beautiful um, dresser with, with all my makeup in it, tons of makeup from so many different brands, and mice got into it and like scampered all about my makeup and kind of pooped and peed all over my makeup, so everything had to be thrown out, and so that was just horrible, and so I didn't buy and replace my Naked 1 and Naked 2, I just got this, and I have to say, I love this palette. This uh, shade right here is a dupe for tease from the naked two and that is my absolute favorite all-time crease color and that is why I bought this palette really was just for this one color that was the only color I really cared about but the palette in general is really nice I can put together so many different looks for this palette I can these shadows perform really well also this is a good palette to travel with I've traveled with this palette it's like easy uh, the black eyeshadow, this was black over here, it smashed and it kind of just broke apart. So there used to be a solid black, which I did really like <laughs> when it was there. But this is a really good, like, perfect palette, and I used the ton out of this. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm going to try to see if I can show you, but there's, like, huge divots in a lot of the colors. I didn't really hit pan on anything yet, but there's huge divots in a lot, a lot of the colors because I've just used the the crap out of this. I highly recommend this palette a ton. If you don't have the Urban Decay Naked 1 and 2, I highly recommend it. So this is definitely my most used palette. All right, my little dumplings, that is it for my palette tag. I highly suggest that if you guys are interested in this tag, you do it for yourselves and let me know about it and I will go watch it and comment it on it. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you soon. Take care.